My name is Peter Fabricius. I'm a freelance South African journalist. I uh, also do some research for the um, Institute for Security Studies in Pretoria. And I specialize generally in foreign policy in Africa. So here we had a conference at uh, IRIS on Moroccan-South African relations, which is a very timely topic and uh, although a very complex one and, and rather fraught because um, we still have uh, hanging between these two countries this major issue um, of, uh, of, of the Western Sahara, which South Africa regards as being the last sort of colonial uh, issue or struggle on the continent, whereas um, Morocco regards Western Sahara, of course, as, uh, as, as part of its territory. Um, and the, the, the question here that's being discussed in the seminar, I think, hinges really uh, to, to quite a large degree on whether the countries can uh, improve their economic and other relations, cultural, etc., um, as wh while this this major political difference, uh, you know, exists between them. So, um, Mr. Belmay, for example, of the of of, of this institute, Iris, uh, suggested that uh, f that that um, the flag would follow trade. In other words, if if the two countries could. Um, uh, in, in a sense, uh, leverage their, their their powerful economies and their their strategic positions as you know countries in the, in the northernmost and the southernmost parts of the continent to to improve their economic relations, investment, trade, working together in their various fields, which is beginning to happen already. Um, that that could ultimately lead to uh, a resolution of the political question. And of course, there are some suggestions that the South African government, for example, uh, if, you, if, you, if, you, uh, if you hear some political official speaking, um, is, is considering the idea of, in any case, separating the political issues from, from, the, from the other issues, from the relationship, um, the diplomatic relationship, and so there's a whole issue about whether or not uh, the, the, the relation, diplomatic relations will be upgraded to the, the level of full um, ambassadors, which they haven't been for 14, 15 years, ever since uh, South Africa recognized uh, the Sahari Democratic Republic and um, Morocco, as a result, withdrew its ambassador from Pretoria. So there are a lot of very difficult issues that are under discussion. There's a huge, obviously huge potential for economic, uh, particularly economic and other improvements uh, in, the, in relations, but there is this Western Sahara issue which hangs like a, a cloud over the relationship and it's a question of, as I said before, whether it's possible to um, improve relations without resolving that issue.